all right so let's go ahead and start this lesson in this lesson i'm going to teach you how you can get a phrases text by using your own custom rule for your natural language processing technique so in this lesson we are going to use a spacy library in fact uh, earlier we have also used spacy so it is a kind of you can understand uh, we are introducing i am introducing you a spacy library NLP tutorial number 4 was an introduction for a spacy library in which i had extracted linguistic feature in a nlp in this lesson i'm going to show you how you can extract a text phrase from a, a given documents and you can also set your own custom rule spacy is a free open source library for advanced natural language processing in python Uh, basically there are two type of libraries available for natural language processing spacy and nltk nltk is kind of very old and it is very old fashioned and i would uh, uh, recommend you not to use uh, nltk until analysis it is uh, very necessary otherwise spacy uh, really comes very handy and since the launch of the spacy 2.0 it is really very boosting and uh, it's really very fast as well so i would recommend you to use spacy there are a lot of the thing which spacy can do like a tokenization part of speech dependency parsing limitization etc you know these things i have already covered in NL nlp tutorial number 4 please go ahead and see these nlp tutorial 4 if you don't understand how you can do okay all those things so i have taught there till the um, named entity recognition and sentence boundary detection which is uh, which is kind of the sentence uh, classification or sentence detection actually not a classification in this lesson i am going to uh, tell you how you can get a text phrase from a given text and do remember um uh, this is not a text classification lesson for a text classification lesson you need to understand the basics of nlp so there are a uh, three or four more videos are going to come on the basics of the nlp and then we will start a lesson on sentiment analysis or text classification otherwise uh, it would be really very difficult for you to understand text classification directly so these lessons are a kind of the introductory lesson which you should watch before you get started with your text classification or sentiment analysis all right you can install spacy by running these commands pip install u spacy and pip install u spacy lookup data and if you install a lookup data it will really make your computer fast so that it uh, uh, it can just go ahead and look in the table uh, necessary data and then you can uh, download if you are from english speaking uh, country then you can download english version of this library en core wave sm sm represents that the small library which is around 11 mb and there is md medium size library or package and there is a large package as well for this uh, 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 for the purpose of this lesson we just need a, a small version of this library and let's go ahead and very quickly see what is the pipelining which uh, which is being used in a spacy let's say you have a raw text raw text get uh, divided into the token a token is kind of a word a separated word if i say here a compared to using regular expression in this compared to using regular expressions these are the uh, you know uh, alone token a uh, unique token or uh, you know uh, uh, each tokens okay so 1 2 3 4 5 there are five tokens and then and then the tagging like a part of speech tagging a parsing dependency parsing etc and then named entity recognitions and then finally sentence segmentations or segment sentence boundary detection etc can be done all right so let's go ahead first start with rule based matching what is a rule based matching there are actually the two kind of the model statistical model and the rule based model a statistical model which is already comes with the library and which is already trained on a lots of the data but most of the time uh, uh, since this spacy is not so accurate in fact nltk is not so accurate as well so the more over these text classification libraries or packages are not accurate their accuracy are somewhere in between 80 to 90% so you know 
do do these libraries doesn't uh, give you the accurate result all the time so the text data are really very wide and most of the time you need to also write your own uh, rule for a matching of a phrase or for classification of text so in this lesson we are going to see how you can write your own rule and then how you can utilize uh, it with the spacy all right so there are many ways to get the text phrases one is a spacy and the one is the regular expression as well from where you can get a uh, matched phrase all right so we have two type of matching one is rule based matching and which is kind of direct and the hard matching where we need to just uh, provide uh, some kind of the word and then it will match from a document all right and uh, it's like this it, it it's like uh, compared to using regular expressions on the raw text spaces rule based matching engine and uh, components not only let you find you the words and phrases you are looking for they also give you the access to the tokens within the documents and their relationships like a part of speech tagging etc they also tell you that what is the relation between the two tokens or a two word another one is the token based matching spacy features a rule matching engine the matcher that operates over a tokens similar to the regular expression i'll uh, i'll explain about the regular expression expression later in this lesson the rules can refer to token annotations like uh, token text or tags which we have already seen in our previous videos the rule matcher also lets you pass in a custom callback to act on matches for example let's say you want to match a google uh, how many times google occurred in a text and then you want to take a some action okay so if your text matches in a document then a callback will occur and where you can perform a further access and let's say if you want to do a large uh, you you want to do a matching on large document then you can also call this phrase matcher as well and this is quite fast now the question is how you can add a pattern add a pattern means you uh, as i tell you that once we add the pattern then we can find a, a similar kind of the sentence or word which will match uh, kind of that pattern so let's say we want to enable spacy to find a combination of three tokens okay a token whose lower case for matches hello okay like example hello or hello a token whose punctuation flag is set to true okay or any punctuation that could be like period comma uh, question mark or exclamation mark a token whose lower case for matches word example word uh, with the first character in capital or all the in capital letter so this can be written kind of this so what we can do if we write something like this and then if we tell the spacy find something which either have hello are in between punctuation or it, it doesn't have or either it has a word so it is ki kind of a combination of all these three okay if it has hello with a punctuation with word that's great and if it has hello world that is also great and if it has just punctuation and the word that is also great or hello or world okay so we need to understand that how you can get this kind of the uh, the patterns from a text so when writing patterns keep in mind that each dictionary represents one token and if a specific tokenization doesn't match the token defined in a pattern the pattern is not going to produce any results for example let's say if token if token produces world with the exclamation mark and now we are comparing world with exclamation mark with world then it will not match and in 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 that case a tokenization is being uh, uh, wrong all right so you need to first correct your tokenization and for the tokenization i have already taught that in the lesson uh, tutorial nlp tutorial 4 there you can understand how you can tokenize a custom tokenization or a stop word kind of you can make all right so when developing a complex patterns make sure to check examples against specific tokenizations or make sure that you have a right tokenization rule 
if inbuilt tokenization rule doesn't work then you can write your own custom tokenization rule so what are the available token attributes like attributes auth auth means unicode that's mean the 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 exact verbatim text of a token and if it is text then unicode exact word uh, verbatim text of the token i mean it's kind of the same a lower that is the unicode lower case form a token text now if we match here it says that uh, the lower form of any token okay so that should be that that could be uh, hello something like this or hello something like this all right so if it matches with this hello then okay that token has been found and the similarly here and each punctuation is making sure that if that token is punctuation all right so there are so many attribute here which you can uh, uh, utilize in your uh, in your uh, program all right so let's go ahead and start a step by step coding for getting your phrases from a text or text document we need to first import a spacy so we can just write here import spacy and we also need to import matcher span and the displacy from spacy so what i'm going to say here uh, from uh, from spacy dot matcher import matcher all right so import matcher and then from spacy dot token we will be using these things later in this lesson a uh, tokens import span and then we need to import displacy so that we can also display or visualize our uh, uh, the text representation our text parsing spacy from spacy import displacy all right perfect once you have imported necessary libraries now you need to uh, load the wave okay english wave core uh, which you can do like here in uh, sorry nlp is equal to uh, spacy dot load and then here we have en underscore core that is the english library which we need to uh, uh, the download and if you are working on second or the third videos then uh, this library has been already uh, downloaded in your local machine it will not re-download again so here we have an lp equal to the spacy dot load this library now let's go ahead and create a doc and a simple doc i'm going to create here just a hello world okay perfect so here we have a simple doc hello world all right so let's go ahead and see this doc now this is a doc which we have and this doc is kind of you see here it has uh, been uh, uh, the processed and then we can get its token and um, uh, the tagging parsing or named entity recognition on this uh, on this uh, parsed document and what we are going to do here we are going to get the token for this parsed document so for token in doc uh, print token all right so it says that it has a three token hello world and exclamation mark separately now what i'm going to uh, do here i'm going to perform this operation uh, uh, the token based matching operation in which i am going to i am going to uh, operate i am going to find actually this pattern in this pattern it says that find if there is hello and if there is any punctuation and if there is a word in a text document all right so let's go ahead and first write that pattern i have already uh, copied that pattern from there so i'm going to just paste it here now it says that lower form of punctuation lower form of this token it matches to the hello and the lower form of uh, uh, i mean if there is any punctuation that punctuation could be either in between hello and world you see here there is hello and if there is any punctuation and then world so it says that any combination of these three all right so let's go ahead and run this and after this i am going to call a matcher so matcher we have already imported here you see now we have a matcher matcher is equal to uh, sorry 
here we have a matcher is equal to matcher and then in lp dot vocab and in this what i'm going to do uh, matcher dot add all right so in this i'm just gonna give a tag name here so it doesn't matter what names you give here so i'm just going to give here hello world or whatever uh, uh, you prefer you can give a name and then finally i'm gonna say here a callback function is none that's mean if it has found any match this match in this okay uh, in this document then there is no callback function i'll tell you later how you can perform callback and then there is a pattern and if an, i not, uh, if i run this matcher dot add so this matcher has added, I, I mean we have added this pattern in the matcher now what we need to do let's go ahead and write rewrite again doc and do remember that after parsing i mean after uh, uh, creating this matcher or getting a vocabulary in a matcher you need to create a documents again so here i'm going to create this documents with the nlp and then here i'm going to say hello world all right so we have here a document now what i'm going to do here matches is equal to matcher and inside that matcher i'm going to pass a document let's go ahead and get this matches and this matches says that we have empty string all right so why we are getting empty string uh, it could be let me see why we are getting empty string uh, let's go ahead and get this nlp from here once again now i'm not going to get this document from there let's go ahead and see on this pattern matcher document and matches again it says that there is empty string let me see okay so if you get here empty string then what you can also try here you can set here op okay so and uh, then you can put here a question mark let's see if it works yes so this says that yes we have got here something which is actually at the location of just just this hello so world is missing here because this punctuation is missing so this says that if punctuation is there then get a punctuation otherwise if punctuation is not there then it's not necessarily you will get a punctuation so if this doc we get in the form of the token just copy and paste it here you will see here hello world and this punctuation is different all right now let's go ahead and print uh print if we have got uh if we have got this word and which word we have got i mean which token we have got uh to do that i'm going to write here a for loop so that for loop you can write here for match id why match id because this is ha this has written match id then the start and the end of the string all right so here it says that for match id and get the start of the string and then the end of the string in matches all right so here i'm going to get a string id which we can read in a human readable format we can get in here a human readable format nlp.vocab you see here this is very big number this is actually highest value of a, this matched string so here nlp.vocab.strings and in this i'm going to get that from this match id all right from this match id we are going to get a string okay and then i'm going to get a span which has matched this uh, uh, the pattern a span which has matched that pattern we can get with the doc and then with the start and there is end and then finally i'm going to print it what i'm going to print here i'm going to first print a match id and then i'm going to print a string id and then finally start of uh, starting index and then end index and then finally the text of that span which has matched so it says that it has matched hello world all right perfect now let's say if we change this hello world with a comma here in between then what happens let's go ahead and create this uh, Uh, create this matcher again rerun this and run this one this one and this one now you see here it has got 0 to 
all right earlier it was zero to two now at this time you see here we have got a four token hello comma world and exclamation mark and this time you will see here it has got this whole span as a matching because i had decided here i had uh, uh, given that any combination of these three so either get the hello with a punctuation or without a hello world with a punctuation or without a punctuation all right and apart from that now you see here another thing which i am going to uh, which i am looking here uh let's say if i do not write world then what happens okay so let's go ahead and delete this world and see what happen run this uh, in fact we need to get here a matcher okay so get a matcher run this matches and now you see we have got here in petty string all right and in the token we have got something like this and in the final we are getting nothing all right perfect and in another way let's say if we uh, if we delete this these two uh, these hello uh, then let's see uh, what we would get nothing okay just empty string all right so let's go ahead and put it so it says that it will look a string which can show hello world and inside a punctuation and it is not necessary that the punctuation will be always there otherwise let's say if we put here uh this op and then with the question mark and we run this we get this okay so we get these three matches these three matches says that whether hello is there or not okay so in the first we get what we get uh we get a first span from 0 to 3 and then 1 to 3 and then 2 to 3 let's go ahead and run this then we will get a final result the first time it says that hello world is there but since we have written here this question mark that's mean it will also look if hello is there or not then it says that okay if even though if hello is not there then these two string is there now you see here these two strings are there i mean these two tokens are there then finally it says that if there is punctuation or not even though because there are two question mark here but there is world that is why it is also representing that world there okay all right so this is how it is working and apart from that if you want to uh, know more about this and if you want to get here um uh, let's say a uh, um, a visualization tool you can get a visualization tool here okay let me paste it here you have here explosion.ai and uh, this is kind of the, uh, where you can get the matching tokens as well i mean you can visualize here let's see if we write here uh, hello world okay with this and we want to let's say match something what we want to match here a lower case of hello okay now let's say uh, whether we get it or not uh, wait a minute refresh this text now it says that yes we have got this hello all right so let's go ahead and add, um, add the another attribute another attribute is each punch and here i'm gonna yeah, okay so this is punch if there is punch then refresh the tag it says that okay there is no punctuation and let's go ahead so the token so it says that okay these are the different tokens and you can see it with the display c as well okay so here in with the display c you see hello proper noun okay and it is coming here and you see here e i i, I n t int j i'm not sure what is that but you can get that from here at the annotation okay so int j you would get somewhere i think a part of speech tagging perhaps yes it is here interjection okay so that is the interjection like hello brow etc etc okay so that is inter interjections and here is a punctuation so this is how you can visualize by using explosion.ai.demo all right so now let's go ahead and move forward in this lesson now i'm going to teach you about a regular expression all right so let's go ahead and get started with regular explosion regular expression okay so regular expression why we need a regular expression 
in you see here previously we are matching exact string but sometimes what happens we actually don't look for exact string but we look similar kind of the string like let's say if you want to look how many times kgp talkie occurred in a document how many times youtube or google occurred in a occurred in a documents so in that case it's okay you can just uh, do a, a hard hard encoding but for example let's say you want to look a three uh, character word in a document then the three character word could be the anything like a dog hell uh, dog rat cat bat mat etc so these are the three uh, character doc word and uh, then if you want to look these uh, three character words then you need to define their generalized rule which we which can look in whole documents and find out those three word consist of three characters and that we can do by using a regular expression all right so regular expression have a lots of the metadata which is really important and we will be using in this lesson a metadata regular expression have like a dot but before that let me show you final example so uh, this regular expression have uh, string finding something like this you might have seen somewhere so if there is a caret sign outside of this square bracket then that shows that this is of a start of the line and um, and your string should include either string uh, your your string uh -huh. string is made of a letter numbers are underscore and then these numbers shows that find all the find all the words which include letter number underscore but their length are uh, length of the word should be in between three character to 15 character long and this says that the end of the line all right so this is how we can encode regular expression finding techniques but let's go ahead and first understand what are the meta characters which we can use so this square bracket says that matches any character containing between the square brackets and this says that negate character class okay so do not find these type of if there is let's say this caret inside this square bracket then it is kind of the negated character class and the star says that matches zero or more repetition of the preceding symbol then plus says that matches one or more repetition of the preceding symbols and this question mark makes the preceding symbol optional as you have seen the previously by this question mark we had make sure that whether punctuation had occurred or not find this hello world from a document all right and this nm inside this braces curly braces this says that find at least n repetition but at most m repetition and xyz is kind of the character group and this is alternation and this is escape character and this is beginning of an input and this is end of the input there are two type of the uh, uh, important things there identifier and quantifiers identifiers this let's say if you are looking for a digit find a digit so you see here if you put here a, a backslash and the d then it will find a digit and like this for example if you write file and backslash d backslash d then it will find all the word which contains file and uh, file underscore and then followed by the two digit and that two digits could be anything two five two six or anything and then with the w find alphanumeric with s find white spaces if there is white space with the capital d non-digit numbers with capital w non-alphanumeric and the capital s is non-space and the quantifier represents that how many digits are how many alphanumeric i mean how many identifiers you are looking so you see here inside this uh, curly braces these are the quantifiers so these quantifiers like a three match uh, exactly the three occurrence match two to four occurrence match three occurrence okay and uh, this question mark says that match ones are none occurrence so these are the quantifiers and identifiers are really very important so we will be using this throughout our uh, natural uh, processing natural language processing lectures are a video series and uh, now after this let uh, i have already uh, explained this example now the time to see now the time to see an example all right so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a string and then i'll i'll be looking for a phone number from that string so let's say we have here a text document which says that 
my phone number is one two five six then i say oh it's wrong all right then i say here correct one each one two five six three four eight seven nine zero or whatever okay then i say okay call me so this is a text document which we have now our task is to look a number in uh, in this text document so the first i'm going to look a mobile number which has at least a 10 number and to do that with regular expression we need to first import regular expression that is re and then re dot search and inside that i put here r string okay r and then the backslash d do you remember with this identifiers and quantifiers identifier d means find a digit and with the quantifiers where i'm gonna put a 10 then i'm gonna put here quantifier that says that the find a digit which is at least 10 character long and then i'm gonna pass here a text now you see here it has matches this one two five six three four eight seven nine zero all right but but you see here this four digit is not matched now let's see if you want to match those four digit then how would you match that you can write here just a four and if you write here a four you will get here this one two five six now with this quantifiers if you remember here now if we put another number inside the curly braces that will say that find the numbers find any characters which has a length of in between this and that so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say that find all find all the digit which have number of characters somewhere in between 4 to 10. Then let's see what happens. It says that nothing. Because this search will not work directly here. So for that we need to uh, write here find all. Then if we write here find all, it does not get all the string. Alright, so let's say if I say here 3 okay i'm not getting uh, let me see why i'm not getting uh, perhaps i had put here a space that is why error is occurring okay so you need to put actually the without a space it says that find all the digits which have a length of at least three characters and maximum 10 characters so we have got both digits from here text data now what i'm going to do here now i'm going to say find all the characters which have at least um, uh, the, um, find all the words which have at least four characters and to do that what you can do here just write here find all and then regular expression string uh, with the backslash w that's in find alphanumeric and then here i'm going to say just a four okay so in this case what it is going to do here uh, then here it says that text now you see it will get all the character which have at least four uh, all the word which have at least four characters but one thing you might notice here is that these uh, characters uh, the words are uh, uh, the truncated and to do that uh, to complete this you can put there uh, uh, okay so it, it's not actually the plus sign you can here actually put here a comma then you will see here so all, it will get all the character, all the words which have at least four characters. Perfect. Now let's say, let's go ahead and discuss the wild card. Okay, wild card text. So what is the wild card text? For example, let's say you want to find some word, but the word, you know the word starts, let's say PH or P. Okay, so let's say you want to find a word which starts p then how would you find that word okay to do that what we can do re dot find all and then here i say find a word which starts with p and then dot 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 and dot okay so it says that okay find the word which starts with a p 
but i don't care what are the next four character okay with these four periods and after that i am going to pass here a text so with this we have got here a phone but if we remove this one uh, two dot then you will get here we have just got a pho let's say if i say I, if a string starts with the c then what we would get here we would get here a two uh, the ct and the cal okay so these are the actually okay so these are the character but let's say if we want if it starts with let's say at least four character match then here we have something like this okay ct and uh, and uh, and which starts with the c okay so that is the call and then then for uh, then the space okay perfect all right now let's go ahead and uh, work more on a new uh, on a new text data let's say here if i say uh, if i create a new text data and in that new text data i'm i'm going to say that this is cat okay but not that i want hat i want hat and cat both okay perfect so let's go ahead and do the same here find all in that here we have our string and in that string let's say if we want to find a word which starts with any character but in between it should have a and then end with any character okay so you see here hmm sorry perhaps here find all this should be now you see here we have got cat hat one hat and and cat all right so this is how it is working perfect now what i'm going to say here let's say if you want to find a string which starts with the number or end with the number or, or, or something like that if you want to look then how would you make sure that okay so let's say the text is equal to hi thanks for watching okay so let's say here we have uh, this okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to find out this string if this string contains a number in the last then how would you do that with re then find all regular expression r and then backward uh, slash d and then here a dollar sign so this says that if we have a number in the last okay perfect so let's go ahead and run this it says that yes we have a number in last but if we check like something let's say if we check uh, if we remove this and if we ask about that if there is a number um, before the string then shall we get this no we will not get okay so it says that no this string does not start with the number but let's say if we again copy and paste it here and put that three here and run this now it says that yes that string starts with the three okay so this is how you can start working with the regular expression now i'm going to show you how you can exclude okay something exclusion that is kind of exclusion oops sorry this is exclusion no that is the exclusion so exclusion means if you want to exclude something let's say if you want to extract this whole data but without numbers okay this text you see here you have text let's say now you want to extract all the text but without number then how would you do this for that you need to just write here find all and with regular expression now do you remember that we had used this uh, identifier and the quantifier inside that uh, square bracket and if there is a caret sign inside the square bracket then this says that negate operation that's mean 
it, it says that get all the data which do not have numbers or get or all the token then I'm gonna just print this text now you see here it has got all the character which do not have numbers but if we put here a plus sign as well then it will give you a whole uh, sent, uh, whole word at the same time all right so this is how negate works in the meantime let's say if you want to get only numbers then how would you get that you need to just write here a w that's mean now it will uh, it will uh, uh, negate all the words which have alphanumeric value and it will get only numbers data now it says that we don't have any uh, any number here i think we have here this should have presented a three but this is not presented three so this is that and okay uh, if we remove this plus sign even though we don't get here all right all right so let's go ahead and get this text again uh, get this text again copy it and put it here for example let's say we have this one it says that okay empty string but if we put something like this still it says that here empty uh, string i'm not sure why and why this is not working this should have worked actually this is looking uh, non-alphanumeric numbers but if we put here a capital w then it says that okay get all the words okay so it says that hi 33 thanks for watching all those things okay perfect so capital w says that non-alphanumerics okay all right and in the same time if we put here the d then we get all the characters without digit but yes if we put here the capital d then we will get all the digits all right numbers perfect that's great now let's go ahead and get uh, uh, try to understand how we can get a grouping okay let's say if i write some text something like this text is equal to you can get a free video okay let's say uh, if i put here hyphen in between free video on kgp uh, the talkie all right so with this you see now let's say you want to find a word which is hyphenated word then how would you do that you can just write here find all and then uh, regular re regular expression and inside that i'm going to put here find which starts with a word alphanumeric okay or, uh, alphanumeric data and then here we have a plus and after that i'm gonna i mean alphanumeric characters so get all the alphanumeric characters uh, followed by uh, hyphen after that again get the all alphanumeric characters and then followed by uh, okay and uh, uh, plus me says that get all the alphanumeric characters in sequence and then here we have a text data so it says that yes we have this free video and the kgp talkie and if i put here a space now you will see here there is just a free video all right so this is all in this regular expression now i'm going to show you how you can work with the regular expression in a spacey okay and now to work with the regular expression in this passive what we need to do here um, a regular expression is really very simple since we will be working with this passive library for our nlp uh, problem we also need to understand how we can get a phrase matching with a passive as well so spacey matches different spellings of token uh, by using these text patterns which we have already seen earlier that was kind of hard coded but here we will get kind of a more generalized way we will get a patterns in a more generalized way like a regular regular expression all right 
So what here I'm going to do, I'm going to first, all right, so let's go ahead and look for a more realistic example. And I'm going to say here a text, a uh, text which says that, uh, sorry, a uh, Google announced a new uh, pixel, sorry, a uh, new pixel at Google I.O. Google I.O. is a, a great place to get all updates from Google. Alright, so let's say we have this text and in this text we want to find out how many times Google I.O. has occurred. Okay, and we are going to do in a specie. Uh, so we need to first create a pattern. Now the one thing do you remember here earlier I told you, here it is, uh, sorry, uh, yes, the, the token attributes. Now we need to get this text data, all right? So what are the text data which we are going to get? Like a Google, uh, I mean, we are going to do here a, a matching, direct matching, kind of hard matching with the spacey. So first we are going to create a pattern here, okay? So this is kind of a list of dictionary in which I'm gonna say that get a text which contains Google, all right? So do you, do you remember this? This is kind of a, um, the earlier hello world example which we created there, okay? And then here we have again a text all right, which says that there is I and then here there is a, 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 the text, okay, which says that there is a forward slash, in fact, a forward slash and then it says that there is text with O. Alright, so this is the pattern which we are going to look in a spacey. Now what we are going to do here, we are going to first write, uh, uh, we are going to here get a match. Okay, before we get a match, uh, uh, I, I should tell you one more thing. Uh, once we, uh, at the starting when we start this video, I had shown you to get the hello world something like this, but I had passed here none inside a callback function, okay? While adding this matcher inside the matcher.add, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I am going to get the callback function as well. Because I did not call the function, that is why what happens, I had to rewrite this function separately like this one. So what happens once the matcher has found out the string which we want to match, it send you something like this, okay? With the callback function, we are going to implement this function so that it can directly print that google.io. So to do that, I'm gonna first write here def function. I'm just gonna say it uh, callback method. And the callback method, it passes the matcher here and along with matcher, it passes the doc and the index of that token and then finally the matches. Okay. Again, I'm going to just write the same thing which I had written earlier. I'm going to get a match ID and then start and then the end as well. Okay. Along with that, you see here we have matches and then I. So let's say if it matches multiple times, then it will get all the matches match id start and the end of span uh, index and then finally i say here entity is equal to doc and then finally we have start to end all right and then finally print entity dot text all right so let's go ahead and add that matcher here matcher uh, we need to get a first matcher so the matcher is equal to matcher and then nlp dot okay 
and after that let's go ahead and add the matcher matcher is equal to mm, oh, sorry the matcher dot add and inside this I'm gonna just call it as a Google and then there is a callback function which we can write just callback method and then finally we have already defined the pattern which we want to match let's go ahead and create a doc with the NLP and by passing our text data inside this and once it is done then what we can do here we can just call here a matcher and then pass a document inside this so it says that yes we have got here a Google I.O. all right perfect uh, but the one thing I'm not sure why it is uh, 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 finding Google I.O. at a single time only although we have presented the Google I.O. the two time let me see what is the wrong here okay so with this what it is doing actually it is just finding a first occurrence of the Google I.O. and uh, all right so this is able to find just only one Google I.O. because here uh, there is a full stop that is where it is it has stopped uh, finding Google I.O. and now if we remove that full stop and again rerun this text and uh, now if we rerun this whole code again we should get a two times of the Google I.O. we have got in the similar way let's say you want to find out the Google all right without I.O. then here what you can do you can just put a uh, IO okay so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to copy this and then um, find word Google all right and to do that I'm gonna just paste it here that new code and the pattern is almost the same but here uh, during IE I'm gonna say OP okay means uh, it's gonna say okay whether uh, this i and uh, these two actually present or not okay so it doesn't matter there i'm just gonna copy and paste it here so with this what we are going to do we are going to make sure that there is at least a google word but it's okay if io is not there so let's go ahead and run this again now we should get here Google, I, I.O. all those things um, so many times. So it says that okay we have got this many times of the Google. I mean there are uh, in a small text in a small document there are so many times Google has been mentioned. So this will be really very important while we will be doing our uh, further lessons. Alright perfect. So this is all about in this lesson. In the another lesson, I'll teach you about linguistic annotation and how you can get a phone numbers and how you can get a hashtag and the emojis as well as how you can get a, um, the email addresses and along with that how you can do efficient phrase matching and then a custom rule based entity recognition. All right. So let's go ahead stop this video and we will start another lesson and in another video please do not forget to like and the subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day